It's time for you to spark her fantasy. In today's video, I'm going to show you four spicy, red-hot roleplay scenarios that you can implement tonight in the bedroom with your partner to get things moving again. And make sure you stick around for the fourth one, because the fourth one is the best one for a very specific reason, which I'll go into a bit later on. My name's Sterling Cooper, award-winning X-rated film star, former high-class male companion. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here's the interesting thing about role plays that most people don't understand, is that a role play is simply an excuse to get one person into a dominant frame of mind and the other partner into a submissive frame of mind. And the costumes are kind of just an excuse to get you there. You know, we're just playing around, we're just having fun. This is all fantasy, this is all pretend. It's an excuse that allows, typically, in most cases, that just allows the woman to let go and indulge in her submissive side, even though she might not actually be that submissive in the relationship normally. So this is, role plays that is, are actually a very good way of implementing a dominant submissive dynamic into the bedroom. So let's get cracking into some examples. So the first example is the priest nun role play. Now what do most people think of when they think of a priest and a nun? They tend to think of Catholic priests and Catholic nuns and they tend to think of confessional. The confessional booth is the first thing that tends to come to mind there. So you can use this to your advantage. You can play on this. You can play the priest as the guy in the relationship. She can play the nun and she can come to you with all of her perverted, twisted, dark, sinful fantasies and relieve herself of them in the confessional booth. And who knows, you might just punish her for them. You might make her pay some kind of repentance for them in the form of giving you a BJ or something like that. The second example of a great role play you can implement in the bedroom with your partner is the doctor patient or nurse patient role play. Now, this works if you're in a relationship where you might like to switch back and forth between the dominant and submissive roles with your partner. So for example, if you're a guy who likes to switch, you might decide to play the patient and have your missus play the nurse. Or if she likes to be the submissive one, then you can play the doctor and she can play the nurse. So how can you play around with this doctor-patient scenario? Well, you can use the good old stirrups and you can be a gynecologist. You can pry her love cave open and uh, give it a quick examination. Another thing you can do is if you can actually get your hands on a real stethoscope, then you can listen to her heartbeat and as you're playing around with her, play on the fact that her heartbeat is rising, that she's getting hot and heavy, measuring her vital signs. The other side of this scenario is the nurse patient example. This is where the guy would probably be the more submissive one and the nurse is gonna be the more aggressive, more dominant one. What can we do in this scenario? Well, we can still use a stethoscope, same thing as before. We can use some uh, leather gloves or plastic gloves, play around with that, play around with some uh, hand stimulation if you like things like that. Another thing I forgot to mention with, well, I suppose with either of these scenarios really, depending upon uh, what things you like to do in the bedroom, but particularly with a doctor patient scenario, you can give her a good old fashioned rectal exam. Another thing you can play on with both scenarios is the idea of getting a semen sample. For example, with the nurse patient scenario, you can have the nurse milk the guy for a semen sample. If it's the doctor patient scenario, you can have the woman come in complaining that she can't get pregnant. And so the doctor, uh, the kind hearted, generous doctor that you are, you decide to step up and impregnate her with your own sperm sample. The third example is the teacher-student role play. Now, this plays on a lot of fantasies that girls tend to have when they're younger years, when they're, when they're in puberty. A lot of girls tend to have a crush on a teacher at some point in their life, some point in their either scholastic career or university career at some point. They're going to have a crush on a professor or a, or a, or a teacher of some kind. With the teacher-student role play, you can incorporate various toys like rulers for spanking. You can just use your hand for spankings. You can incorporate the uh, good old cane for giving her some good spankings. If she's been a naughty girl, she's been a bad girl, she hasn't 
uh, done very well on a test or has cheated on, ex on an exam or anything like that. You can also play in a scenario of like you caught her flashing the football team, right? Now she's in detention and now she's in need of some punishment. There's a lot of punishment and discipline focused things you can, you can implement in this particular kind of a role play because it naturally plays out that way. The teacher is naturally the one that administers some form of punishment to the students when they've been bad. So take advantage of that, use your creativity and try and rekindle some old school fantasy she might have. And instead of her fantasizing about an old teacher or an old professor, now she's going to be replacing those with you instead. Now the fourth and the best, in my opinion, example of role play scenarios is the boss secretary scenario. Now why might I think this is the best one? Now I consider the boss secretary role play dynamic to be the best one because not only is the boss dominant to the secretary, not only is he in charge of her leading her, she is specifically subservient to him. So she has to do things for him, run errands for him, get him coffee, uh, you know, polish his shoes, whatever you might want to incorporate here. And the beautiful thing here is that you can incorporate these various service acts from her and reward them with sex. You see what we're doing here? This is actually, there's a really great example of this. If you ever want to see a genuinely great example of a BDSM dom-sub relationship played out on screen, watch the movie The Secretary. And this is a fantastic example. It's not a shit example like Fifty Shades of Grey, that bollocks. This is a real example that is a lot closer to how a, a dom-sub relationship plays out in real life. So in the boss-secretary dynamic, of course you can still incorporate a lot of the BDSM style punishments that you might incorporate in other role plays like spankings, floggings, paddles, these sorts of fun toys that you can play around with. But in addition to that, there's just this added extra fun psychological element that plays into the whole thing, which I find quite enjoyable. And of course, there's always the cheeky BJ underneath the desk scenario that you can tap into as well. I highly recommend you check out my other video on you're killing your testosterone, here's the solution. If you increase your testosterone, you're naturally gonna exhibit far more dominant behaviors in real life and in the bedroom. So check out that video and learn how.